So in this video, I'm going to be doing a ranking of all four movies in the Shrek series. I'm doing this video because it was the original Shrek, Shrek 1's 20 year anniversary recently. And I went back and rewatched it and the rest of the series. So I'm going to go ahead and rank all four movies in the series from worst to best right here. At number 4, Shrek the 3rd from 2007. Shrek the 3rd was in a very tough position at the time it came out, coming off the heels of Shrek 1 and Shrek 2, so obviously the bar was raised very high for what the third film would bring, and to put it kindly, it was just not nearly on the same level as Shrek 1 or Shrek 2. You know, comparatively so, its story, humor, and just the thought that went into it were on direct-to-DVD quality levels compared to those first two, two films. You know, Shrek's personal journey in this one, in this one he has apprehensions to, be, to being a father, scared to be a father. Okay, that's fine, I guess, but it just doesn't have the same amount of development or thought that went into it as those other films did. Even Shrek 4, you know, really just was just kind of thrown in there. And the way they implement sort of the fairy tale creatures in the first two films, they were a little more selective in terms of what characters they chose to use, and the writing was a lot more clever when it came to implementing these characters. And this one, they just threw pretty much every fairy tale creature they could find in this one or character and just said, hey, whatever comes about, we'll just go with it. And if it's not all that funny, oh well, we'll still just put it in there. Probably the most clever thing they do in this movie, and probably the most fun thing, is the stuff they do with the princesses. You know, it's a really fun to see, even though it's obviously not the Disney version. It still has almost sort of that same impact as that princess scene in Ralph Breaks the Internet and sort of the stuff they do, the action sequences and their personality is fun in this one. Had the movie had more of stuff like that, it wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't have the same kind of opinion on it, but as it is, it is the worst of all the films in the Shrek series. At number 3.5, Puss in Boots from 2011. Obviously not an official Shrek film, but since it is set in that universe, I felt the need to include it and wanted to give my thoughts about it. This is obviously a spin-off slash prequel starring Puss in Boots. And while I do think he worked better as a supporting character or a sidekick, whatever you want to call him, in this one, he shows he can hold his own as a protagonist. And this is overall a solid tale showing his origin, how he came to be, and what adventure he goes on involving his friends, Humpty Dumpty, Kitty Softpaws, and just this whole big adventure involving Jack and the Beanstalk. You know, overall, the movie is not great when it comes to anything humor story or just whatever you want to name but for what it is it's a solid enough adventure and it works for what it's trying to do at number three shrek forever after from 2010 or also known as shrek the final chapter it had two different names it went with in the promotional material i think what i like most about this one was the story setup you know the beginning showing shrek being really starting to get annoyed by his new family life and people not treating him as a real ogre and not being afraid of him anymore you know it's perfect because it's a perfect contrast to beginning of, to the beginning of shrek one you know them showing him living the bachelor's life him living like a real ogre people being afraid of him and him loving to scare the hell out of people you know it was perfect because it shows like wow his life has just changed so much and it would make sense for him to start getting annoyed just because he did really love his previous bachelor's life so that leads to him making the deal with Rumpelstiltskin and while the whole thing about going to sort of an alternate reality version of a world isn't anything new seen in movies or television shows you know for this film it works and it, it was fun to see this sort of alternate version of the Shrek world we had become so familiar with and it was great character development for Shrek you know him sort of missing his old life or realizing oh man what the hell did I do and him having to form that friendship with Donkey again and sort of win Fiona back. It was really good development for Shrek in this one and it overall worked well as a wrap up for the whole Shrek series. You know him finally becoming accepting of his new life, him being happy with his family and whatnot, just the whole ending. I was like wow you know I wouldn't call it a, a great movie but it was definitely a good one and it worked very well for a wrap up for the whole Shrek series. And number two Shrek 1 from 2001. This is the 20th anniversary of this film, sort of the reason why I'm doing this video. And I think why this film worked so well when it came out and obviously still works now is that it was very different from the typical animated films that came out for kids. You know, Disney obviously dominates the whole fairy tale market when it comes to animated films, but this film just has like a real sort of edge to it, a nasty nastiness to it that was just like, whoa. And just the humor and everything that went into it was just so different from your typical animated films that it really, so this was the movie that really did put DreamWorks on the map and made DreamWorks what it was for a number of years. You know, I think sort of the biggest strength for this film is the dynamic between Shrek and Donkey. I mean, obviously it was great voice work that went into those two by Myers and Murphy, but their dynamics just worked so goddamn well. Just Shrek has sort of like this grumpy straight 
straight man and donkey just doing sort of his comedic loud stick but it was just like man those two were just such a great comedy duo and just had such a great dynamic going for them the love story between shrek and fiona worked the adventure sort of quest angle worked the whole sequence them shrek sort of rescuing fiona and then battling the dragon i mean that whole sequence is a whole lot of fun the humor throughout the movie it was mature it was still well thought out it was just very well done overall you know 20 years later the movie still holds up as the classic that we all know that it is and at number one is shrek 2 from 2004 shrek 2 was just a perfect sequel and follow-up to shrek 1 and almost just a perfect movie in general I mean, it's story, it's villain, it's characters, it's music, the humor, all just hit the absolute bullseye with what it was trying to do. It was a film that introduced Puss in Boots to the series. The Fairy Godmother is one of the absolute best non-Disney animated villains out there. She was just a great villain in this movie. The I Need a Hero sequence towards the end of the film is just brilliant. It's just so well done, it's so much fun to see and just play out. It's just a great scene. You know, just everything about the film just make it not only the best Shrek film, but in my opinion, the best film that DreamWorks Animation has ever put out. And for those reasons, it's why it did 444 million domestically. I mean, those numbers are absolutely crazy for an animated film to reach in 2004 both how good Shrek 2 was or how great Shrek 2 was that's why it is the best Shrek film and that's why it was the hit that it was so there you go with my rankings for the whole Shrek series to wrap things up at number four Shrek the third at 3.5 Puss in Boots at three Shrek Forever After at number two Shrek 1 and at number one Shrek 2 I don't know how different this list is, or it probably isn't very different for most people's opinions on the Shrek films, but I had never done a Shrek rankings before, and because it was the 20th anniversary of the first film, that's why I had to put my thoughts on the Shrek series right here. So that'll do it for this video. If you made it to the end, thank you for watching.